Welcome to episode 1266, Ted Leonsis, media and sports self-made billionaire. This is an outline of episode 1266. This is a picture of Leonsis with Alex Ovechkin and a very big Stanley Cup. Chairman of Monumental Sports and Entertainment, this city has no better friend and no better visionary than Ted Leonsis. Big day, short speech. We have the greatest fans in the world, and now we have the greatest hockey team in the world. I am so proud of the love and respect that our community has shown each other and our franchise. He was born in 1957 in Brooklyn, New York, to immigrant Greek parents who were working class. 1977, at the age of 20, he graduated from Georgetown University with a degree in English. He was top of his class. His first job after graduation was working at Wang Laboratory as a communications manager. He made his first fortune of $20 million by starting and selling this magazine. List, the Leonsis Index to Software Technology. It's a TV guide about the software business. It's profitable very quickly. I sold it for $60 million, 26 years old. I declared victory. I won. I did all the things that a young man would do. I bought houses and cars and bought my parents a, a new car. and bought. best known for spending 13 years as an AOL senior executive and for inventing the instant messaging. Editors are going to be bartenders, so I think. I know that's a terrible thing to say, in that what the role of an editor or will be social media. It'll be, I'm bringing you into a place, into a bar. I'm going to give you the news. I'm going to bring other people around that'll talk to you about the news. I'll find dissenting voices, and I'll package that up for you. That's a great new position and job. Well, that's it, a lousy description of what a society ought to be, I think. I think that uh, we're, you know, look at the, the Pulitzer Prizes and look at what the Seattle Times did with its investigation on the 747 rudders and so on. How the hell is that going to happen on the internet? I mean, that Today, the majority of his wealth comes from owning three sports franchises, Washington Wizard, Washington Caps, and the Mystics and also the Capital One Arena building. Now, the secret of his success. And, and it really was a, a magical moment to, you know, I, I was like an English major. I had no idea what I wanted to do with my life. And I was honestly like the first generation to see a populist application of computers and software. And I remember Father Durkin said to me, um, I think this is the first time where liberal arts and technology have come together. A couple of years ago, I had one of these goosebumpy moments because I was reading Walter Isaacson's book on Steve Jobs, and they asked Steve Jobs, why is Apple the world's most valuable company? He said, Apple's the place where liberal arts and technology come together. And Father Durkin said that in 1976. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and leave your questions and comments below. My next video will be Ted Leonsis' Nine Lessons. Wishing everyone peace and prosperity.